As the esports industry faces economic challenges, at least two prominent organizations in America's top professional video game league are selling their teams, causing investors to reconsider their involvement. With revenues falling short of expectations, esports team owners are cutting costs, laying off employees, and ending contracts with star players. Esports viewership in the U.S. has also dropped significantly, raising concerns about the industry's future. At the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky made a dramatic entrance and urged support from world leaders in the ongoing conflict with Russia. Zelensky met with leaders including India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, seeking support against Russian aggression. In a significant victory for Zelensky, President Biden agreed to join European efforts to train Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets and provide Ukraine with the warplanes. The G7 leaders pledged to toughen punishments on Moscow and intensify efforts to cut off funding for the war. Meanwhile, President Biden cut short his trip to focus on debt and spending talks in Washington. Russia has expanded its list of sanctioned Americans in retaliation for the latest curbs imposed by the United States. Among the 500 people singled out for travel and financial restrictions were Americans seen as adversaries by former President Donald J. Trump, Letitia James, the state attorney general of New York who has investigated and sued him, and Brad Raffensperger, the secretary of state of Georgia, also made the list. Lieutenant Michael Byrd, the Capitol Police officer who shot the pro-Trump rioter Ashley Babbitt, did not. Diplomats and officials are focusing on de-risking rather than decoupling from China to maintain global supply chains while reducing threats of coercion. The term gained popularity following a speech by European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and emphasizes a more moderate approach in dealing with a rising and assertive China. However, the concept has a controversial history in financial policy. Although it aims for more selective measures, de-risking can also lead to unnecessary exclusion and enforcement challenges. It requires careful evaluation of industries and cooperation to balance risk reduction and economic interests. A newly discovered exoplanet, located 90 light years from Earth, has sparked interest due to its potential to host liquid water and numerous volcanoes. The planet, named LP 791-18d, has a radius and mass similar to Earth's, and is believed to have a rocky composition. Its active geology, possibly including volcanoes, could indicate the presence of an atmosphere. Two missing boys, Alpha Barry 11 and Garrett Warren 13, have tragically been found deceased in separate locations in the waters off Manhattan. Alpha was last seen on May 12th, with his body recovered from the Hudson River. Garrett was last seen on May 13th, and his body was found in the Harlem River. Police are continuing their investigation into the circumstances surrounding their deaths. Garrett's cause of death was determined as accidental drowning, while Alpha's cause of death is pending examination. Airlines are expanding first-class and premium seating to cater to a growing number of passengers willing to pay more for extra comfort. Major U.S. airlines have increased premium seating by 25% to 75% in parts of their fleets, driven by leisure travelers looking for additional space and a better experience. The shift in demand is seen as a financial boon for airlines, leading them to upgrade aircraft and reconfigure cabins for more premium seats. United, American and Delta are among the companies investing in this trend.